Captain Ed Ganaway and First Officer Matt Warmerdam have just flown in from Macon, Georgia. They're now ready for their second flight of the day, Flight ASA 529 to Gulfport, Mississippi. The Brasilia, on autopilot, is climbing towards its cruising altitude of 7,300 meters. Autopilot. Warning lights and chimes go off, signaling trouble in the left engine. The autopilot trips off as a result, and Ganaway takes control of the plane. The plane is falling at over 1,600 meters per minute, the equivalent of nearly 30 meters every second. West Georgia Regional Airport is only 13 kilometers away beneath the clouds. Two minutes flying time, but they're not sure they can keep airborne that long. Suddenly, they're out of the clouds, but the sight that greets them couldn't be worse. In front of them, no airport, only forest and villages. All 29 people on board are miraculously alive, with only a handful seriously injured by the impact. But a new disaster is gathering. Fuel from the shattered wing tanks is pouring onto the ground. The sparks ignite the fuel vapors, creating a blazing fire. Within seconds, the fire spreads to the fuselage. In the rear section of the plane, the passengers are now trapped by flames. Of the 29 people aboard ASA Flight 529, only eight escaped with minor injuries. Of the 21 others who received major injuries and burns, 10 subsequently died. The engine failure had been caused by a propeller blade fracture. Much has changed for the company that manufactured Flight 529's propeller. Its inspection and repair process was made more stringent in some cases exceeding FAA requirements.